Police in New South Wales have laid charges overnight against rugby league star Jared Hayne, alleging he sexually assaulted a woman on the night of the NRL Grand Final. With the details, we're joined by reporter Lara Himes in Sydney. Lara, good morning. What do we know? Well, Michael, Jared Hayne was released in the early hours this morning after he spent time at Wright Police Station, where I am, after being questioned for several hours. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon when he handed himself into police. He was accompanied by his manager and he was answering to claims of police allegations of aggravated sexual assault. Police are investigating this incident that allegedly took place on the NRL Grand Final night. This was happening at the end of September. And what police are alleging is that a 26-year-old woman who they say is the victim contacted the rugby league star, made contact with him via social media, and he has then gone to a property in the Hunter region where the alleged incident has taken place. Now, with this, on this scale, it's actually quite a significant charge because the aggravated sexual assault crimes and uh, ones of this magnitude actually attract a 20-year sentence, so very significant case on that front. Jared Hayne didn't speak to the media uh, as he was departing the police station yesterday. He was released on bail, but he is uh, being released under strict bail conditions. And Lara, is the NRL involved in the investigation? Well, at this stage, we haven't heard from the NRL on this matter, but what police say happened is that the young girl actually contacted the integrity unit of the NRL first to make the contact and make that complaint. And they were the group that uh, reported the incident and referred the matter to police, which prompted that police investigation. So we haven't quite heard from them on this, but amongst all of this, Jared Hayne is still without a club. He's a Parramatta star. He did leave the club to pursue a dream playing for the NFL, playing for the 49ers, the San Francisco 49ers. But his tenure only lasted about a year there. He wasn't able to transition to the code very well. He since returned to Australia and did try to make a tilt playing for Fiji playing for uh, the Rugby Sevens Fiji club, but that wasn't successful either. And there had been talks uh, with the Parramatta club, but under the salary cap, he was only able to be paid about $200,000. And the calibre of player that Jared Hayne was is attracting about a $700,000 price tag. So that conversation actually broke down. So we haven't heard from the club or the NRL at this stage. We'll stay across this story all morning. Lara Himes in Sydney, thank you so much for the updates.